Okay, just another one here. Um, today we have with us two young ladies. This is Neda. She's going to embrace Islam, and this is the uh, the the young lady that helped her to f find Islam, and her name is Yasmin. Yasmin, can you just tell us briefly how it is that you met Net uh, Nettie and how she became interested in Islam and what you shared with her that helped her to become on this journey of finding Islam? I was downstairs two weeks ago, and I was downstairs two weeks ago, and she came in with a friend, and he asked me to help her because it was her first time entering a masjid. And I just ha started having a conversation with her, and that's how it started. What did you feel at that time was the most important thing to share with her, or what were some of the questions that she had? She was asking to show her around the masjid and how to pray and explain stuff to her, and that's what I did. Well, um, I'm sure that you will be getting a lot of uh, reward for that, and I'm sure that Nettie is very grateful to you for your time. Mm -hmm. Uh, Nettie, what was it that made you decide to become a Muslim or to become interested in the religion of Islam? Well, um, I had some friends that are Muslim and um, just, I don't know, just um, my friends started introducing me to like some videos online watching and some some of the things, whenever I was re watching some of the videos, like it actually made me cry and touch my heart because like, oh. it, yeah, and um, you know, it my friend was explained to me, you know, he's he's like, once you become Muslim, he's like, believe me, Nettie, he's like, all the troubles and everything, you know, you'll, uh, once you, you know, you'll have a peaceful way of life and everything will be fine. And he goes, because he was explaining to him how he's been in the country for not nearly as long as I've, I grew up in this country. And he said, look at me, when I first came here, I had no money, no nothing, and now look, look where I'm at. And he goes, so he, he emphasized to you that, uh, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, God, really bestowed his blessings upon yeah. him after he embraced the religion of Islam. He yeah. saw that it increased his life in many ways. Alhamdulillah. So you, it seems to me that you've been studying a little bit, but I'd like to ask you a few basic questions uh, before you take your shahada. Um, as you know, the, the Muslims have fundamental beliefs in Islam. The first would be that Allah is the one God, and there's, mm -hmm. he, there's no other God worthy of worship but Him, and that we're to direct all of our worship to Him alone. And do you agree with this? Do you believe yes. that? Yes, I mean. yes, we also have to believe in Islam and all of the prophets. So we believe in every single prophet that the Christians would be aware of or the Jews would be aware of, all the way from Adam to Moses to Jesus to whom we believe is the final prophet, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa And there will be no more prophets after him. Yet, like the Christians, we're waiting for the Messiah, Jesus, the Christ, to return again. Do you believe in this also? Yes. Yes, as Muslims, we also believe in the angels, that they're around us, although we can't see us, and they perform certain duties that they're ordered to perform by God or Allah. Do you believe in this also? Yes. Do you also believe in the books? Because as Muslims, we do believe that the Quran is the final revelation of God. However, we also believe in the earlier scriptures also. We believe in the, um, the Torah, which was given to Moses. We believe in the Psalms of David, which was given to Prophet David. And we also believe in the Injil, or the Gospels that were given to Jesus Christ. And, we also, and then, of course, finally, the Quran. Do you believe in all these books? you believe they're revelations from God? Yes. Yes. Also, as Muslims, we must believe in the predestiny of Allah. This means that everything is written before it happens and that God al uh, alone with him is the knowledge of all things. And you believe in this as well? Yes. One last final thing that we really must believe in is the Day of Judgment, Yom El Qiyamah. We have to believe as Muslims that every single person is accountable for the deeds that they do in this life. And nobody... No man, no person can take the burden of that sin away from them. Yet they will have to answer to Allah on the Day of Judgment. Do you believe in this also? Yes. Then I would like to give you your shahada. Actually, you can do it if you wish. And just say it slowly for her. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Anna. Anna. La. La. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa. Illa. Allah. Allah. This means that there is no God worthy of worship except for Allah, alone, without any partners. وَأَشْهَدُ وَأَشْهَدُ هَدُ أَنَّ مُحَمَّدْ مُحَمَّدْ رَسُولْ 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 اللَّهِ 
and this means that you believe that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the last and final messenger. And by saying the statement, you believe in the message he brought, which we discussed before all of those points, is the message of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Takbir! Allahu Akbar! Takbir! Allahu Akbar! Takbir! Allahu Akbar!